Welcome back to another Clicked tutorial. My name is Jasper and I'm the CTO here at Clicked. And what we're going to be doing today is connecting Vapi AI API to Bubble, allowing you to make calls through Vapi AI using your Bubble application. So as you can see, we've got a totally empty uh, application right here. We're going to jump across to plugins. We're then going to go to add plugin and we're going to install the API connector. Then after we've done that, we're going to go add another API. We're then going to put in Vapi AI. And then what we're going to do is come across to the API reference here. Now you can find all these links in the description of this YouTube video. That will be for Vapi and for the API documentation. Um, so those will be in the link below. Uh, okay. So now that we've got that, you're going to land here at Create Assistant. We then want to go to Create Call. We're then going to copy the API call here. We're then going to come back across to um, Bubble and we're going to go import another core from CURL. So we do that and go import. Now what we're going to do is we're going to call this uh, make call. There we go. Nice and simple. We're going to change that to data to action so we can use it as an action. This is all OK. This is where your API key will go. Now what's going to happen is you're going to have all this information. Now the truth is that you don't actually need all this. This is just all the different options you have. So what we're going to do is I've already got a little body made up, nice and simple, that has the actual main things that we need to make a call. So we need the assistant ID. So that's your VAPI assistant. You can make that when you're logged into your VAPI account. Um, then the customer number. So that's the person that you're calling. And then you also need the phone number ID. So the phone number ID is the ID of the phone number you have in Twilo, all in Vapi, that's connected with your AI assistant. So with those three things, you can make an actual API call. Now what we're going to do is now that we've got that, we're going to come across to manually enter API response. We're going to come over here to the response. We're going to copy that. We're then going to paste it in and go save. And then we just go save again. Nice and simple. Now, if we jump across to the design, we're going to grab a group and we're then going to center that group, give it a bit of spacing off the top. So let's say 60, nice and easy. Then what we're going to do is we're going to need a couple of inputs. So we go, go like this, drop it in there, go copy, one, two, three. So what we need is our, let's say API key. So we go API key, great. And then we also, and what we're going to do is we're going to set that actually to password. And that's just so I hide it in the video. Now, the next thing that we need is the actual customer phone number. So we we'll say phone number, nice and easy. And that will be my number. So we'll make that private by putting it as password. We then come here and we'll say we need the phone ID. Nice and easy. Um, and then we're going to make that private. And then the last thing we need is the actual assistant ID. Awesome. And we want to make that private as well. And then the very last, we want a button that's going to allow us to actually send a call. So let's go make last. And we'll make, make this say make call. Great. Now let's add a little bit of spacing. So if we go like this, go 16, there we go. Now they're nicely spaced out. Now if we go to make call, we're going to go to, actually what we're going to do is go to index. And what you're going to want to do is create a custom status called response. So if I remove that and I instead go create new state and we'll just go response, set it to a text, go create, done. Now let's come back to make a call. We're then going to want to make an API call. Actually, just in case, let's double check. We've got to turn these off. Make sure that they're not private. Great, come back. Now we're going to go make API call. We're then going to go to plugins. And then we've got all our options here. So we want the API key. So we're going to go and then go input. And then we've got API key, and we'll go value. We're then going to leave this alone. We then need the assistant ID. So we're going to go input, assistant ID, value. And then we go customer number, 
and then we go input, uh, we'll go phone number, value, nice. And then we'll do the last one, which is the phone ID. There we go, got its value. Then after it does that call, we want it to set the state of the response that's found in index. And we'll set that as status. So we wanna know what happens. Did it get an error? Did it uh, put it into the queue to call? Um, what happened? So there we go. Now what we're gonna do is, now that we've got everything set up, we're gonna to go to preview. And I'm gonna paste in my details. So I'm gonna go API key. The assistant ID. The phone ID. And the phone number we are calling. There we go. And then I'm going to go make call. Actually, there is two things I forgot to do. I actually made a mistake. So let's exit out of here. One, I'll turn my phone off silent so you can actually hear the phone call come through. And two, we want to make, uh, we need to get the response, so actually show it. So we're gonna make a new text here. We're then gonna change that to uh, input. No, not sorry, we're gonna go to index. We'll put that as response. We're gonna make it collapse when hidden and not on page load. And then we're gonna set when, and we'll say when index, the response is not empty, it will then be visible. There we go. All right, so now let's go back to preview. Let's get rid of the debug. There we go. All right, so let's put in our API key. <coughs> then we need our assistant ID. Then we need the phone ID. And the last thing that we need is the phone number. Now after I click this, a phone call should come through. Okay, my phone is starting to ring, which is good. Uh, you can't hear anything though, but uh, the call's coming through. So as you can see, it says right here, queued. So that's the response that we got through from Vappy. So queued means that it's put the uh, phone call, few, uh, uh, sorry, it's put the phone call through to the assistant to make the call. So that's good. Now, um, so just like that, in the, let's say in about 10 minutes, we managed to connect the VAPI AI to your API application, meaning that you can make outbound calls. Um, do check on my other videos, because I will be, re be releasing another one on how to actually receive data from VAPI as well, so you can get an update of what happened to these calls. And don't forget to subscribe, and if you need help with your application, do check out the comments section. I have a link to our agency below. Thanks for watching the video, and look forward to seeing you in the next one.